So you guys ask all the time, where's the best place to get bottles in Kentucky? Well, these are the 10 best distilleries to hunt for rare and hard to find bourbon bottles. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to talk about distilleries to hunt. Yeah, so we've done a video like this before where we did seven distilleries. Now we're doing 10. Obviously, we've added some new ones. We've taken some older ones off the list of what we thought. Yeah. The last time we did it, we did it kind of like in a tier, like where we thought we're like, this is the best or this is the, you know, this one's better. We're not going to do that this time nah. just because from talking to you guys, it's all about when you guys come into town. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to like. We don't want we don't want you to come here and have an experience and you go, well, Bourbon Kingdom told us to come here and we yeah. didn't get jacked. Today's episode of Bourbon Kingdom is brought to you by Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented. It's delicious cereal. It is deliciousness. Uh, and the really cool thing now is they have so many flavors available that you get to BYOB. You get to build your own bundle uh, however you want it to be. There is blueberries, cinnamon. Guys, this blueberry is incredible. Honestly. Just, it, it really honestly, is. You, you know, the cocoa was my favorite the last time we blueberry. had this, but the blueberry kind of blows it out of the water. Yeah. The blueberry is uh, the best uh, one of all these. And I'm a, I'm pretty partial to, to cinnamon roll and all that stuff. But the, Oh, yeah, the new cinnamon roll is so freaking good. But the blueberry good. is still, still way better. Uh, and so you can build your own bundle of whatever flavors you want, peanut butter, uh, Honey Nut, any of the ones that are that are available. Uh, like I said, I would just do four. I would build my own bundle as just four, uh, <laughs> four of these blueberries because it would be awesome. I don't I mean, know if that's considered a bundle or not, but it tastes literally like a blueberry. Muffin. It really, it's it's awesome. It's so good. So here's the cool thing with uh, with Magic Spoon cereal is it's got zero grams of sugar. 13 to 14 grams of protein, has four to five net grams of carbs in each and every serving. And the cool part about it is it's only 140 calories per serving. Gluten-free, keto-friendly, grain-free, soy-free, all these things that people really, really care about. And uh, it's available in this cereal. And you don't feel guilty eating it at night. Yeah, a thousand percent. Also, they have these new cereal bars. This is a s'mores one. I mean, it's it's just awesome. Yeah, it, it if really is. If you are a fan of cereal bars, you should definitely take advantage and get some of these. Uh, so here's the deal: click the link below, uh, use the hashtag Bourbon Kingdom or the promo code Bourbon Kingdom, and uh, you can get five dollars off your first order. Make sure you click that link and uh, take advantage of building your own bundle today. I need to talk because I'm my mouth's full. <laughs> Enjoy, and so we don't want that because we don't want to be right. we don't want to be responsible for that. Uh, but we do want to give you the ones that we think, like if you come you come into town, there is a chance that something will be available. Hit that like subscribe button. It's free, it's easy, and it helps us out. Yep. Turn on the sleep. notifications for sure. All right. So the first one we're going to talk about on the list, and again, these aren't in any particular order. We're no not order we're not going to rank them or whatever. We're just giving them to you. And just to reiterate, we are not guaranteeing that any of these bottles will be there whenever you go. But these are the kind of bottles that, that these distilleries will drop. Yeah. So there is a chance of it. Yeah, for sure. First distillery we're going to talk about, though, is Wild Turkey. So Wild Turkey, they the, the most common drop you'll probably get from there is a Russell's Reserve pick. Yep. A lot of times it's older, you yep. know, Jimmy or Eddie or somebody's picking that. Uh, I think there was a team one here recently. Those picks are phenomenal on they, top of... They generally are, yeah. Yeah, they're they're great. Uh, on top of, you can still get the Masters Keep there whenever that comes out. They've also dropped Russell's 13, which I've made that drop before. Yeah. I don't think you did, did you? Uh, no, I, ma I, ma I made it to the drop, but I did not get the drop. Very true. And then... Uh, Matter of fact, you called me. I left as soon as you called me, like three minutes, and I, I still didn't get it. So He just missed it. Yeah. Oh, terrible form. Uh, and then, obviously, the new Rick House, which that was very hit or miss. Yeah. I didn't grab one of those. So, number nine on our list, or number two. Two, number whichever nine, way. Two, yeah, whichever way. Yeah. Next one, Angel's Envy. So, Angel's Envy, they have a lot of their single barrels down there. They have, have, not a lot, 
but they have done special releases down there with yep. their normally you can find their cash rank yep. offering. And last year, I think they did have some of the apple cider, the, yeah, or whatever the cider was. house rules, the, yeah, yeah. What, whatever, whatever it was. was. Good bottle, yeah. But they and they will release those. Yeah. Nothing crazy outside of that, but the availability of getting single barrels from there. I know that single barrel is still hard to find in certain parts of the country right now. Yeah, so and they got a whole new barrel. like it's nice looking. Angel's Envy is a super nice looking yeah. place. Like yeah. it's honestly like it. It's just it's clean. It's new. It's, like it's, it's yeah, very it's modern. Like a, yeah, shiny new penny. It's really really nice. Yeah, for sure. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, my next one, which this almost didn't make the list, but I just have such a soft spot in yeah. my heart for And it. I've never been to this one, so. It's Boone County. Boone County single barrels, they're not, I mean, look, we all know the dusties of them. The older MGP and those stocks and everything else. When he says we all, you some of you don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> look on any secondary page, you'll see one for like $900. Yeah, crazy. yeah. But it's all that older MGP. The stuff that Boone County's putting out now, I think is now all their stuff, unless you see like one ultra age one here or there, that's probably MGP. Yeah. But a lot of their new picks right now are Boone County, I think. I think, don't hold me to that. Boone County, if you're watching, correct me, please, or somebody in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but they're not as regular as what they used to be. They used to be a lot more regular about putting those out weekly. Yeah. Um, or at least bi-weekly. Now they're a little bit more hit or miss. But man, like I I just have such a soft spot for those because I just, I just love them. Yeah. Next one. This is another one that people don't really think about going and trying to look for bottles there. Yeah. But the Evan Williams experience in downtown Louisville. Yeah. So Evan Williams experience, they basically have all of your Elijah Craig's, your Evan Williams. The rare stuff that you'll find down there is, you know, obviously your barrel strengths of like Elijah Craig. Yeah. And they'll have Larceny Barrel Proof. They have some you'll older. You'll get the Evan Williams 23. Yes, the 23 is the big bottle. Yeah. Uh, and that one is, I was so frustrated because I looked for that during Derby. Yeah. And I just missed it. I called. And they'll get like, the Derby bottle too. I called like three seconds too early. Yeah. Yes, Derby bottle would be one of them. Yeah. Uh, they also have a 12 year, they have a blend down there. But with all that being said, that is a great little hidden spot to yeah. where you can go down there. They, the stuff sits on the shelf, Lazar Hook Toast sits on the Usually shelf. Usually never crowded. Yeah, and nobody goes to their bar either because yes. nobody goes past the gift shop, which is one spot above. So yeah. uh, highly recommend that. Yeah. And that's where a lot it's of It's a quick stop. That one's a quick stop too. Like there's yeah. not a ton going on in there. And so like no. you can go in there, go to the gift shop, and if you decide you want to go get a drink, go get a drink. But like, you're in and out in in a few minutes, and you can then then you can go cross the street to. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. Now, uh, after Evan Williams, might as well just go right down the road to the next one on the list, which yeah. is Michter's. Yeah, Michter's. Now Michter's is it's my jam. I love mm. Michter's. Like it's one of my favorite places. Um, they are also, in my opinion, one of the better distilleries on this list. Because even though yes, it's a package, right? Like not we all know always it's a, package. a package, but usually when they do big drops, it's going to be a Most package. Most time it's a package, yeah. But they consistently drop stuff down there yeah. all the time. Yeah, and if you if you're lucky enough, sometimes you can go and you can do bottle your own, mm -hmm. which is it's just I keep telling you guys, it's awesome. It's a bottle that mm -hmm. like not very many people get their hands on because they only do a limited number of it and. It's, it's basically their single barrel honey hole or honey yeah. hole, honey barrel version of their either barrel yeah. strength bourbon or rise, whichever yeah. ones they're doing at the time. And we uh, like just I, w I went down there on Derby Day because mm -hmm. I thought like we kind of thought that there would be a, a drop. Yes. And I mean they that that day they dropped ten year rye yep. by itself. Then they did the Mictors ten the Michter's uh, barrel strength, mm -hmm. and then the, the what was it, small, small batch? batch. Yeah, small, small batch as a package. But then they also, on top of that, you could you could choose whichever one you wanted to. You could have done the bottle your own that morning yeah. too. So they, there basically, was, they basically had everything that yeah. they had available. Yeah. Now that's the thing about Michter's, they're not always gonna have every bottle available. For yeah. like, for example, the toasted bourbon and rice, they haven't had those in a while. Now, oh, I'm very telling me that they're coming back out this year with toasted rice. Ooh. So I'll be on the lookout for that. I want that birdie to tell me something, too. <laughs> uh, but they do, in my opinion, they do one of the better jobs in the state yeah. to where if you're willing to go out there, you wait in line for however long it is. Yep. If it's, yep. you know, 
And they also, if they don't drop in the morning, they'll drop typically some other time of the day. It might yeah. be, you know, 10, might be two, might be five. They try to, they try to, they try to fool people. So the next one on the list, uh, we'll just stay on that same street. Old, yeah. Let's just stay on the street. Old Forester. Yeah. So Old Forester does not, <laughs> sadly, I'm saying this like nobody, nobody's going to feel bad for us. They don't drop the same like what they used to. Um, yeah. You know, they've always kind of been like random times, places, yep. people, whatever. Um, but they still have, you know, I don't think this year they've dropped a PC or a birthday bourbon at the distillery yet this year. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they didn't. Too like much. just a random drop. They, yeah, I think they've done. Drop. I think they've done tours. Maybe not for a PC, but for I feel like they've done at least one tour with birthday, birthday bourbon. Maybe, um, but, but they don't suffer fools. So no, that's true. Uh, but mostly the 117 series is what gets dropped down. Is what gets dropped down there. They also do barrel strength bourbon, yeah. 100 proof bourbon, barrel strength rye. Everything that they pretty much do, yeah. they have dropped down there in the past, either with a, you know, either with a tasting or with a drop yeah. or whatever. They are probably one of the more difficult ones to snag a bottle from. Yeah. Uh, just because it is so random. It is. And, you know, that's that's kind of what they want to do. Yep. Yeah. And they've kind of went down to almost like one drop a month. Yeah. So it used to be a lot more. Yeah. You know, you saw the 117s driving like. If it was well, being in the month, you were like, hold, hold, hold. you know, that PC or that birthday bourbon's coming. Drop. Yep, for sure. And not anymore. Yep. So, yep. Dave and I were talking, I think out of everything on this list, I think if we had to pick one distillery to drop, even though it's not our favorite distillery, yeah. this is the bottle you want, or this is the distillery you want to drop, which is Willet. Yeah. So, Willet hadn't dropped anything for probably since the, I want to say like start of COVID. Yeah. Outside of eight-year weeded bourbon, they had dropped some of that. Yeah, and they will still occasionally drop that. They hadn't dropped any Willet Family Estate a long time, and then here, all of a sudden, they start dropping single barrels. I don't want to say left and right, but they've been they dropped some pretty them out. yeah pretty I pretty have, regularly. I've joked around. They've had to drop these single barrels at the distillery because they had to pay for all that paving they did out there. Yeah. Which, by the way, Willet, thank you. Yeah. That paving. Yeah. Beautiful. Pay for the pay- paving uh, and then I, also uh, maybe make room for more <laughs> more barrels. Yeah, it's it's crazy. But they've dropped, I mean, they've had an 11-year. I think they've either had a 19 or a 17-year yeah. drop. And it's, I, I mean, look, at the end of the day, and I know I have a buddy of mine who gets mad whenever I say it's purple top. But those purple tops, man, like whenever they're right, they're right. Yeah. And I forget which, it was the, we were trying it at a... Uh, Josh brought it to Heaven Hill whenever we went to Heaven Hill for that 20-year record, but it was that ultra-age one that we had, and whew, that was a smoky yow that I thought was yeah. amazing. Next one on the list. Seven. Or three. Whichever. Yeah. Four Roses. Now, out of the whole list here, this is probably going to be the distillery that drops arguably the most. Yeah. Well, no, maybe second most. There's another big boy that drops every single day. But, but the least allocated of the allocated, to me, like, is it in the sense that that's basically all they drop? Well, let's talk about it really quick. So they drop barrel strength bourbons probably average at least three times a week. Two to three times a week. Yeah. I think more than two. I think on a slow week there too. Yeah. I think there are some weeks where they drop five. Yeah. So I'll, I'll say three. To be safe so they do all those then on top of that they will drop a special release charity bottle yeah and those have been some like last year at 16 year old they did what three special they special did, they drops. did three they did a 20 year an 18 and then the and 16. a half and like a 16 it was yeah. 16 or 16 and a half One 16 16 and a half Wh- whichever was. yeah that's 16 Woo. yeah Awesome. Yeah. That 20 year old was awesome too. Yeah. The 18 is fine. I like the 18 a lot, but it's not my favorite out of those yeah. three. But even with all that being said, those barrel strengths are just, they're so consistent on how often they drop them. The nice thing with Four Roses as well is they let you know when those big drops were coming. That's true. So That's the true. Uber allocated drops, mm-hmm. 
they let you know because we had friends from Michigan come down. That's true. And, and, had and people so, from Alabama, from Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. People mean, who, who were willing to make the drive yeah. to come and get it because they knew it was coming and still taking a chance to not be able to get it because they, they yeah. didn't tell you how many bottles they were going to drop. They just said, hey, this is this is happening. A thousand percent. And yeah. all of those people scored. Yep, all of them which scored. Which is awesome. Yeah. That means that they're putting out yeah. that much. Uh, so Four Roses to me, I, I think they probably do it better than anybody else on the bourbon trail on who does the most with drops, where they do stuff consistently out there yeah, all the time. Plus, they do special releases yeah. there. The only special release they don't do is the LEs, but they save that for an online lottery so everybody has a shot. Yeah. So even though me as a local would be like, hey, I, I would rather I go wait was, in line. Yeah. I wish I could just go wait I'd, in line. Yeah. But at the same time, it's totally fair what they do. Yep. Totally understand. It's all good. Uh, number two on the list, talking about the one who probably legitimately does drop the most, which is Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace. For mo if, if um, every day they're dropping something. It feels like hundreds and hundreds of bottles. Yeah. Because I feel like hundreds and hundreds of people are out there waiting. Yes. Especially on yeah. the weekend. Yeah. And it's either going to be a Blanton's, an E.H. Taylor small batch, a Eagle Rare. Or a Weller, Weller Special, Special Reserve. Or Wonk Wonk, the Zazarak Rye. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the... Uh, yeah. 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 That's the one. It that, is what it is. It, huh? it is what it is. Or as my friends who come in from Ohio say, great, we get Weller Special Reserve Day. Yay. Yeah. That's yeah. not what they want. <clears throat> Um, but they have a three month rule. So once you get one of those special releases, you can't get another release for at least three months. Three months. So, yeah. Which is fair. Yeah. Which is Heaven Hill. If you so, ain't first, you're last. Yeah. Heaven Hill, um, they went for a long time where it was totally random. And then they went to where they would release stuff on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And now they're back to randomly dropping stuff. Uh, and they will they drop. They went from telling you to not telling you to. To not telling you again. Yeah. And they put stuff on tours. Yep. You know, you'll see anything from a William Heaven Hill to an Old Fitz to. to what was it? Friday? Was it Friday they dropped the Fitz 19? Was that I Friday so. or Thursday? It was Thursday or Friday, one of the two. Yeah, it was one of those two days. They dropped 15 bottles of 19 year. Yeah. And, so. you know, they'll, they'll drop stuff at the beginning of the day, you know, and then they'll have the You Do Bourbon experience where yep. you get bottles. They just have a ton of opportunity to get different bottles down there. Yes, it might be a Henry McKenna day whenever you go and wait in line. Yeah, could be a grenade day. Could, could be, be a grenade day, or it could be a Parker's day. Could be a could be a Heaven Hill. Hill. Uh, it could so, be a Bottle and Bond seven year. Could be a Heaven Hill yeah. seventeen. Yeah, but it, it just you just never can tell. Yeah, but so. it's always worth the trip. To me, it's always worth the trip to go down. If you sure. get down there at open, or a few minutes before open. Yeah, it's worth. And the cool thing about Heaven Hill is. If they have something, most of the time, they'll come out and tell you ahead of time, like 15, 20 minutes ahead of time. Yeah. Like, hey, this is what we're going to have today. This is how much of it we're going to have. Yeah. You all kind of figure it out if you want to stay or what your number is in line. Yeah. So. So true. And you can keep messaging us and asking us and giving, you know, what, where to go. Of course. Like when we're coming, just please. I mean, we, we, we like to give that information out because I think it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, especially for the, those of you all who are coming to the city, we want you to have a good time. We want you to enjoy what Kentucky is. And if you're coming into Louisville, like uh, some of the area in, areas in Louisville, that you can go have a good time oh, yeah. and totally get some agree. good pours. So Totally agree. Yeah. So, all right. Well, till next time. We'll see you. See you.